On this Christmas morning, while you're unwrapping all of your gifts, maybe you've done so already. John Granada's here from Johnny Granada's Restaurant and Bar, along with the TV maitre D, Joe Zito. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Good to Merry have you. Merry Christmas to you, was sir. Was Santa good to you, little Santa boy? Santa was very good to me. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you. This is one of my favorite mornings yeah, of the year. It is. Me too. Mine me too. and the chefs, yeah. and we're happy to be here with you. It's nice being with a lot of family I'm and, glad you and get friends. Dressed for the occasion. Yeah, I, I got the, <laughs> got the <laughs> still in my pajamas. Uh, we got uh, buffalo chicken dip. We're going to make portobello um, regatta crust. Steeny, bacon wrapped dates with gorgonzola, puff pastry with uh, brie, raspberry jam, and chicken. Yeah, so here's the way we figure it. This is a very busy time of the year. You've mm -hmm. got family, friends, loved ones coming and going all the time. Sure. So the fact of the matter is you want to have something simple to put together for a little impromptu a cocktail party or right. get together or even this coming New Year's Eve yeah. or whatever it is. And the chef put together some beautiful hors d'oeuvres and in the course of the morning we'll talk about certain wines that sort of go into that party mood and we're going to have a, an exciting Christmas morning. It, it absolutely is. And like uh, like Joe was saying, you, you're really busy. Even though today is Christmas morning, you've got a lot of things going on. You do have family coming over. This may last all week long, and you could have company going, I'm here. Yeah, we're we're going to put something together. And the thing is, we want to make it really simple so that you mm -hmm. don't have to spend hours thinking about it. You right. just throw it together. So I'm going to show you some really easy ideas and popular ideas that you can just bang right out when you need it. You, you know, can, when you get, sounds like a plan. When huh? you get invited to that special Christmas party, Party right. or whatever you've got to go to. Sure, sure. And you can wow all of your guests. And then if, while you're done uh, making that, you're also going to want some uh, some great wine to go along with it during this week of, uh, of celebration Absolutely. with family and friends. And this is the, uh, he's the guy. He's got all of the uh, the great wines. And we'll talk about a show. We'll talk about the restaurant. We will put all of these things together and spend Christmas morning with you. Back to you. John Granada's here from Johnny Granada's Restaurant and, and Bar on this Christmas morning, along with the TV maitre d' Joe Zito. And we are going to make some uh, buffalo chicken dip. So what do we need to put this together? Okay, so <clears throat> what I have here is I have two bars of cream cheese. So that's eight ounces each, so 16, 16 ounces of mm -hmm. cream cheese. I have about a cup and a half of Frank's Red Hot. Oh, love it. Right. I have some prepared chicken breast, which I, which basically I roasted off some chicken tenderloins with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can buy this pre already prepared at the market, or you can use rotisserie chicken and pull it apart. Mm -hmm. um, I have about a pound and a half of shredded cheddar cheese. I have some gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese if you want. I have some scallions, and uh, what I did was I got some chipotle ranch. You can use regular ranch. You don't have to, if, but I figured the chipotle give it a little smoky taste. Sure. Yeah, delicious. So basically what you want to do, you want to make sure the cream cheese is softened mm -hmm. so you can work with it. And you're going to take the ranch and you're going to put the whole bottle The whole of ranch. bottle in? Yeah. Okay. I love a good, you like that? I, I love a good Yeah, me too. I, I, I love a good homemade. Yeah, homemade. Right. 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 So That's, you're going to mix that up? You're going to mix that up. You can actually get that going okay. and I'll show okay. you. Um, Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take the chicken in a separate bowl, and you're going to add the Frank's Red Hot to it. Okay. And mix that all up. We put that stuff on everything. I, I do. You know, <laughs> you're not getting, I have it on my desk. <laughs> I Christmas, could Christmas morning, my desk. I'm behaving myself. <laughs> you're going to put it on the Christmas roast today. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we're mixing this up. All right. So Ooh, it smells good. The chicken goes down. Mm-hmm. How am I doing, Joe? You're doing great. Okay. Right, man, that's, it, that's perfect, you actually. Know, he's doing so now. Some, the gorgonzola is going to go in there. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of And cheese. half of the cheese. All right. Half of the, ch the cheddar. This isn't just your, your simple. It's simple this in the, the preparation, but there's a lot of good stuff. There in is there. a lot of good yeah. stuff in here. And it, it's cool how it all comes together, you know. And it's a, it's a crowd pleaser. Put that in. And uh, I don't know if it's good for Christmas breakfast, but. Well, it'll work for later on during the day. Right. All right, All right, so I'll get this out of the way. So you're going to spread that in there. All right, I'm going to move this over here. Yeah, now how are we doing with this? Looks pretty that good. That looks good. Right? Mm. Looks good to me. So now, you're going to take some more cheddar cheese. You're going to go over the top. Sprinkle that on there. Yeah. I mean, how easy was that? That's simple. All right, you're going to pop that in the oven, and we're going to see it later. We're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Right. So it's nice and bubbly. And we're going to garnish it with some fresh jalapenos and some scallions. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. And in the meantime, go. they can clean up some of that wrapping paper yes. on the floor and get another cup yes. of coffee and Be we're here. Because we're going to make another dish in just a little while and we will show you what this uh, comes out to and looks like in just a little bit as well. Back to you. 
We are back with Joe and John as we are whipping up some great holiday apps or maybe little sides. If you're hosting for the holidays, this is really great. Hey, listen, our message this morning is Merry Christmas to all of you wonderful people. Happy holidays and simple and delicious. We love that simple and delicious. And Merry That's Christmas to you. For. Merry Christmas. Yes. What ingredients do we need for this next recipe? So basically, what I have some rustic Italian bread, and I like the Sicilian loaf that you can cut in big slices, oh, right? Delicious. <clears throat> we have some portobello mushrooms that you buy at the market, mm -hmm. and you just want to get the caps. They look like burgers. Yeah, they do. Right. Well, yeah, they are so hearty. Yeah. Delicious. You want to roast that off with olive oil, salt, and pepper, mm -hmm. and some fresh garlic. And then what you want to do is you want to slice them like this. See that? Beautiful. It's nice and thin. And then you're going to have some fresh ricotta cheese, mm -hmm. some fontina cheese for the top, caramelized onions. You can just take an onion and cook it very slowly yes. until it gets a nice caramel color. And some scallions. It's very simple. Beautiful. Yeah. And we are making a crostini out of this. Right. And what we're going to do is after we cook this, we're going to cut them in pieces. Okay, good. Right? I was going to say, that's a very large portion for an appetizer. <laughs> Be walking around. That's, that's my style. My yeah. whole bottle of wine and that. And that's exactly. the way I roll. Well, it's hard to juggle both things. <laughs> that makes but... very Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. right. So if it you want to spread does. those. Sure. You got it. So we put you right to work. I, I'm okay with it, though. I right? Know. That's what I love about the holidays. Get everyone in on it. Get everyone in the kitchen. Wow. Right. So you want to take the, the portobello mushrooms and you just want to like sli put the slices on the bread so like that. So you cook with Chef Granada, some assembly is required. Just right. like the, yeah. just, you know. Just but like you the poor dad now putting everything together yeah. on the floor. <laughs> and you know what? When you're cooking for the holidays, that's half the fun, right? That's where the memories are made. You've got that right. It looks beautiful, guys. So caramelized onions are going to go over the top. Ooh. So, Joe, it's funny you said like looks like a burger. <laughs> this is almost <laughs> like a vegetarian steak sandwich. It, it, it actually is. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take that and continue the process. Pile those on. Yeah. Right. Keep going with the process. And, Joe, I know you mentioned that you have some wine I that do. you're going to be pairing and, and, with yes. different things. Yeah, but here's what we're doing this morning. I, I think that, you know, by the time you get to Christmas and you get to this time of the holiday season, yeah. people are a little burned out in the sense that they spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of activity. There's a lot of things. So what I did this year is I came up with wines that are cost-effective and still 90-plus points for taste. Nice. You don't always, listen, it's nice to go the full spectrum uh -huh. but you know if you go to somebody's home and if you're especially if you have 15 to 20 people at your home you can't be buying $50 bottles of wine no that's, in most cases that's too so much so the fact is I've come up with some wines that are just very reasonably priced less than 13 or 14 dollars for the wines they're delicious right. and we'll talk about them coming up but that's what we're doing this that's year a we're nice going setup, easy though yeah going easy in terms of ingredients but we are not skimping on flavor whether this. it's food or wine oh. those look great we're gonna pop them in the oven we'll show you the finished products and do some more cooking in just a bit. Glad to be spending this Christmas morning with you. John Granada's here from Johnny Granada's Restaurant and Bar, along with the TV maitre d' Joe Zito. No, also well, yes, get sir. Get Papa Joe. Why don't you mm -hmm. go out and get Papa Joe a nice big glass of eggnog? I love with it. Just a little splash of holiday cheer, I, okay? I, I, That'll I, make me less tense on the set. I love it. We're, we're going to have. <laughs> we're both going to have some. We are making a bacon wrapped dates with gorgonzola, one of my favorite dishes that this, you make. This was made for you for Christmas. Mm -hmm. so Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Ah. So basically, all we have is very three ingredients. Uh, very important though. You want to use medjool dates. Medjool dates, M E D J O O L. They're a Middle Eastern date, and, and the reason is because they're plumper and they have um, a lot, they're usually larger. Right. Wow. Um, Easy for stuff. Yeah. Now, now, the other important part is a date will look like this. And you're going to be able to slice it you open. You want to put a little hole in it and right. you want to pinch it open. And see the little pit in there? Yep. Just take that out. Trust me, I'm old, and I know so, big dates. Look, so, it right out. I used to have these when I, all the time. Uh, a lot of Italian people will, will use this a lot as well. Mm -hmm. And some people are like, oh, dates. I don't know. I've never tried dates. Oh, oh my God. They're so unbelievable. Delicious. Dates are so it's good. It's like natural caramel. They really are. They have this sweetness to them, and then you wrap them in bacon. And look at how easy. Right. This so we got the gorgonzola go cheese, that? and we got bacon. Yep. So we had three in, three ingredients. We have dates, gorgonzola cheese, and bacon. We took the pit out. We stuffed it with the gorgonzola cheese, and now we're just going to wrap it all the way Put around in there. with bacon. Now, I use applewood smoked bacon, so it has a nice smoky flavor to it. Right. So what you want to do is you're going to wrap all your dates, and you're going to pop them in the oven. And then when they come out, it's a lot of Let's stuff see. in this yeah. oven. <laughs> John, I'm going to try. Let me see if I can try one of these. I'm going to try yeah, to wrap one of these. All right. So this one already has the the cheese that inside. That's cheese of it. in it for you. That's a cheater so for you. Move this out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Put this here. Roll this right. right How easy is that? 
easy enough to do. So you can do this. You, you grab dates. They usually come, you know, by by uh, like 20 in a, in a pack or something like right. that. This would take you two minutes with the kids. You could cut them. You can have them pit them and stuff them yep. and then roll them up. Chef, if you're putting picks in these, are you offering that? Yeah, actually, that's what you I was can, wondering if you was going to do I that. I don't yeah. because usually if you put it down on the fold side, They'll you know hold. what I mean? Yeah. It'll, it'll hold it. Yeah. So, you know, basically here's your final product. Oh. And if you want to go a little further than that and crisp them up even more, you can. Please, please. You know what? Can I just have a can I just have a fork out of that, please? Yes. Thank you. But these are a big, big crowd pleaser, especially on a day like today oh my God. or I'm, even even I'm, any pod. Really, I'm not I mean, I'm not kidding. If you haven't tried these, they are so so good. Now this one's flaming hot, but we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the middle shouldn't be too bad. Pretty good, huh? Mm. Yeah. Well, well you see what I'm saying? So, with it. so in, in California, morning. where they grow the dates too, in oh California. Uh, they actually make shakes out of these out of dates. Do you ever see that? No. They take the dates and they puree them in a in a in a in a shake machine. Yeah. And they add cream to it, and it tastes like a caramel shake. It's unbelievable. Ooh, that is so and good. It's so good for you. All right. So we are gonna. I'm gonna continue on eating this. We're gonna put another dish together just a little bit. Thanks again for spending Christmas morning with us. This is Merry delicious. Christmas. Time for one last hurrah in the kitchen with Joe and John, right? Yeah. What started in mid-October with all the hype is finally I, here. We, Merry Christmas, everybody. We are Merry ready, Christmas. and we are ready to, to cap things off. Lots to get to in this segment. Our final Our final dish. Another dish. beauty. So we have some brie cheese mm, that nice I cut into little pieces. We have some puff pastry. We have some some more of that pre-cooked chicken that we use for the buffalo chicken dish. Yeah, very versatile. And I actually have some of my wife's homemade raspberry jam. Oh, she makes that herself. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, but if you don't have that, you know. You can buy it at the store. Yeah, you know, all easy things to find, especially around this time right. of year. So the puff pastry, you want to mm -hmm. keep it dry. You're just going to cut circles out of it. And of course, Joe only had a wine glass. So. But, but you know what? You make a good point because let's say someone has other types of cookie cutters, but they don't have a pure circle. Just use a glass. Sure. It's very easy. You don't need to go out and buy anything you know, exotic. Mm -hmm. So here's your, here's your circles, and you're going to kind of press them down a okay. little bit. And flatten them out. Give yourself just a little, a little more bit. Space. Not a lot. All right. You're going to take a piece of brie, and you're going to cut a little square and put it in the middle. Yum. Right? You take a little piece of chicken. Same thing, right on top. A little piece of that. Again, simple, delicious. And then Sherry's jam. <laughs> Sherry's jam. She said, that's my jam. That That is her jam. <laughs> Yum. Do we need to fold these up anyway? Yep. So now you're going to pick it up in the palm of your hand, kind of like a... a oh, you know, balance it just like yeah. that, like a and fist. And just kind of pinch them all around. Give right. it a little border. Yep. And, and they then, too will end up right in the oven. In the oven. In the oven. You're going to do them all like that. But you can do a lot of prep work ahead of time for all these things as you well. You can do it the night before. You can do it a week Isn't before. Isn't that nice I mean, and very convenient? It is. You know, depending, but basically that's it. I want to show you how everything came out. Okay. You want to see that? Yeah, it'd be yes, a good idea, definitely. wouldn't it? Let's show you because if you're just tuning in, you say that's it. That's right. it, Chef Granada. Oh, no, it's not it. We had so many items that okay. we made right. today. So, so now you have Yeah. Go ahead, Joe. Well, I was just going to say while he's taking everything out, you yeah. have these beautiful parties all week of these mm. get-togethers with family and friends. You don't always want to spend a fortune, but you want to drink something that's nice. Yeah. So I've taken two wines here that I particularly love that are less than $13. I love that. Okay. But they're both 90 point plus wines. So the flavor, the taste is all good. Full bodied, there. elegant, fruit forward Chardonnay from Estancia in California. Mm. You can find this anywhere at my friend Chris Gasparro's for sure. Yes. But anywhere you want this in the course of this week, you'll be able to find Estancia and it's Estancia. delicious. You want something that you it can sit, fancy. walk around. You don't have to be <laughs> worried about what you're having great this you, you but you've got a variety of different foods here you take mm -hmm. the portobello you you take the these obviously the the bacon wrapped the uh, dates, yum. The, everything here beautiful you want something also a little robust but that you can you can just sip and enjoy that way yes. very smooth Cabernet Sauvignon from my cap. friends at Louis M Martini in California mm -hmm. and of course what I particularly love you when you have a bubbles. festive you need some bubbles <laughs> bubbles make everything a celebration mm -hmm. Christmas day or any time and this is a beautiful sparkling rosé from California from Chandon. Beautiful. This is this is half of a, a Moet and Chandon in France. I this love is it. a beautiful simple $20 bottle but the pink bubbles festive celebrations yes, and it makes and you want to say Merry holidays. Christmas. Yeah. Well, and this will make you want to say Merry Christmas to finishing touches on everything our Christine our buffalo chicken dip
dip, our bacon wrap dates, and oh. our puff pastry. Your holidays are covered, and we've got some drinks to go with it. Yeah. Joe, John, Merry Christmas. Merry, merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you so much for hey. coming in, and we're wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Merry as Christmas as Let's well. have a party. Everyone we love. Let's have a party. You guys can have a party, too, with these recipes. Check them out on our website.